Welcome to this global womb healing audio ceremony. This transmission is designed for the purification of your womb space. And it's also designed for you to return your womb space to your full energetic sovereignty, to its original primordial freedom, for you to return your womb space to her divine blueprint. In addition, this ceremony will connect you to the true divine feminine womb grid of the earth. There are three elements to the ceremony. The first is a womb purification guided transmission. The second is receiving of the Mune Ki 13th right of the womb an ancient shamanic transmission and womb blessing, which originates from an Amazonian lineage of medicine women who freed themselves from pain and suffering. And they want the same for all of humanity. The third element is a sacred sound channeling, a healing transmission and the purpose of this is to deepen the anchoring in of the ancient womb wisdom from the right of the womb blessing. Also, to facilitate a deep release and transmutation of any residual unwanted energies or energetic imprints within your womb space, which will be ready to clear fully and completely. The healing transmission is also designed to activate new and positive neural connections through your womb and through your pelvic area and tissue. In fact, through your entire sexual reproductive system. This will awaken your womb, will allow you to feel more grounded, more alive and more connected to your womb and to your body. You can find yourself feeling more safe and more secure in your physical body temple. My suggestion would be that you stay present and fully immersed now through the opening of the ceremony all the way through to the end and the closing of the ceremonial space. Sisters, I want you all to know that this ceremony is dedicated to the light, to your deepest healing, your most powerful and nurturing transformation, to your most tangible recognition of sovereignty, womb sovereignty, soul sovereignty within your body. All for your individual highest good and always for the greater good of all. Let us begin by dropping our awareness into our heart space. As you descend your awareness into your heart now, you can begin just to breathe deeply. easily through your heart imagining that your heart chakra is breathing for you and here you can set your intention to connect with the feeling of love curious as to how that will feel. Maybe open, maybe expansive, maybe warm. And as you connect and soften into this feeling and this frequency of love within your heart,
you can just send this energy down towards and into and through your womb space. And feel it here. And be curious as to how this feels here now. Filling your womb with love. When you're ready, you can send this energy of love down through your root chakra. Down through your legs and feet. And all the way down to the earth. Through the layers and layers and layers. Deeper and deeper. To the very core of the earth, the crystal core. And here you can feel this deep connection with our great mother, feeling grounded and knowing that you are anchored and secure throughout every step of this process. And you can also know that in doing this, you are connecting to the original primordial womb grid of the earth. The original earth womb. The true womb grid of the earth. Connecting to the divine, feminine, creative flow and the creative force of the earth. Feel this connection and allow this energy to begin ascending upwards through those layers of the earth. Reaching your feet and ascending upwards to your root chakra. reaching upwards, sending energy up from your heart through your upper chakras, reaching up to the celestial realms, to Father Universe, to the cosmic womb of all creation, to Great Spirit. Gratitude to Great Spirit for filling you fulfilling us all with the highest divine and most pure light blessing your journey throughout this ceremony with light see, sense or feel this light descending down through your upper chakras when you're ready, just settling it down 
into your heart. Breathing once more through your heart, deeply and fully. Knowing that you are connected and anchored to Mother Earth, to the terrestrial realms, to Father Universe and the celestial realms. And from this place, you can call on any of your usual ways of protecting. Maybe your spirit teams, spirit guides, spirit allies, any other symbols or visualizations that you usually use that allow you to feel fully held and protected. And I'm extending protection as the facilitator of this ceremony to each and every one of you through space and time. Know that you are protected, that you are safe, that you're empowered, and that you are sovereign within your own energy. Know and affirm to yourself now that no unwanted energy can enter your field of energy. Yet you will be able to release any heavy or stuck or unwanted energy throughout this process with ease, with grace and with efficiency. is always ready to receive, to transmute, and to transform heavy or unwanted energy deep to her crystal core, and she will recycle it back into your field in the form of love and pure, pure light. As we continue to open ceremonial space, I'm now calling in the powers of the East, calling in the powers of the East to be with us and to hold us through this ceremonial space. The powers of the sun and the moon, the powers of the fire and the light. into the shadows so that we can see just what we needed to see. Calling in, thanking and welcoming the spirit of the condor. Here to show us that we can spread our wings, we can fly, and we can fly high, close to divinity. We thank you for your presence. Calling in the powers of the south, the powers of the waters, the powers of the plants, the powers of faith and trust and intuition. Calling in the spirit of the serpent, here to show us that we can shed old skins. West, the powers of Mother Earth, Mother Gaia, the powers of the feminine of the goddess, and the powers of the womb, the darkness and the void of the womb, the powers of dreaming and journeying deep, deep within. Calling in the spirit of the jaguar. Here by our sides,
going in the powers of the north. The powers of the air, the powers of the animals. The powers of our elders and the powers of our ancestors. In particular, our maternal lineage ancestors. Calling in the powers of discernment, clarity of mind and wisdom. And calling in and welcoming the beautiful spirit of the hummingbird with her huge heart showing us all that we can heal our hearts. We can live from our hearts. We can listen and we can speak from our hearts. We thank you for your presence. It's time for you to find a very comfortable place to sit or to lie where you will be warm in privacy and undisturbed. And we'll begin, when you're ready, the womb purification transmission. A guided transmission that uses the metaphor of your womb space as a room. So in a few moments, when you're ready, I will invite you to journey into the space of your womb, whether your womb is physically there or no longer there. This works for the energetic space of the womb, the etheric space of the womb. And you will imagine your womb space represented to you as a room. So we'll begin once more in the heart. Breathing deeply. Connecting to love. Remembering that this entire process is done from love. From self-love. Self-honoring. Self value. When you're ready, you can begin the descent down into your womb space to the opening of the room which represents your womb. And first of all, all there is to do is observe with curiosity. See, sense and feel what is your womb room like? Shape, size, colour, light, furniture. the atmosphere feel like within the space? When you've had time to observe and explore with curiosity, in a few moments you'll be ready to tune in and to observe people. These people will be energetic imprints that you've held on to within the space of your womb. And this is something that happens for all of us. It can be current or past sexual partners, from sexual encounters, whether they were loving or not. can be members of our families, can be our children, our parents, our siblings, 
other people that we know, that we like or dislike. Our clients, people that we work with. It's possible that unconsciously you've been holding on, hosting the energies of these people for years, maybe even lifetimes. So you can be curious, simply curious just to observe who's here. Maybe some faces or shapes or forms that you weren't expecting. That are a little surprising. And that's okay. Maybe they will appear altogether. Or maybe slowly revealing just one by one. Plenty of time for you to connect and to observe who you've been holding energetically within your womb space. And you can know that there would have been some effects of siphoning off of energy, what we might call harvesting of energy. It happens to everyone, it is just the way that it is. But you can change this. This is what this is for. So that you can decide to release and to let go, to purify and to cleanse, to fully clear the energy of your womb for yourself. So that your womb energy, your sexual energy, your sensual and creative energy, your life force energy, nurtures and nourishes you. In a moment, when you're ready, it'll be time for these people, these energy imprints, to leave the room of your womb. And know if you need any extra assistance from your spirit team or guides any extra magic or special effects that you have those available to you you have whatever you need you have the power you have the say now to completely release and let go knowing that any cords of attachment between any individuals can just be released and dissolved and transmuted through this process. This is your time to reclaim your womb space, your womb energy and your life force for yourself. Take your time if you need to. As these energies are leaving and being released, these energies are leaving and being released. And it can be so much easier than you might have thought to completely and fully 
release these energies from your womb space to clear and purify to reclaim your womb space and your womb energy as your own now when you're ready and only when you are ready when this is complete it's now time to completely clear the energy in the space that might be cleaning mopping brushing hoovering might be space clearing maybe with sage or incense or sound or a combination but it's time for you to fully and completely clear and purify the entire energy of your womb room really thoroughly every corner and everything that you need to assist you can just appear magically and any assistance that you might need is available for you you have everything that you need you're in command of your womb space clearing cleansing cleaning purifying energetically your entire womb room done when you get a sense that this is complete and that you are ready for the next stage and you'll know now it's time to get creative to use your imagination to completely redesign maybe even completely relocate your womb room so that you can create through your imagination your most sacred womb temple space that feels so safe and warm a place for you to create for you to feel alive so you can choose what are you going to bring in what colors will be in your room what fabrics and textures what will the lighting be the windows the views what about the art the furniture flowers crystals or anything else enjoy creating designing knowing that it is your time to cultivate this supreme safe sacred womb temple space within you a place that you can return over and over again you 
feel that you have created just the right space and feel and look and energy. Breathe it in and relax. Enjoy this sacred space. I'd like you to ask yourself a question and the right answer will be the very first answer that comes to you. If your sacred womb temple space had a name, what would it be? If your womb temple space had a name, what would it be? As this name comes to you, allow the resonance and the essence of this name to fill the room. To add colour and light and texture. And I'd like you once more just to imagine connecting down the energy of your beautiful, sacred, pristine and pure womb temple space. Down through your roots, once more down into the earth, deep, 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 making connection with the divine, feminine, true womb grid of the earth. Knowing that this channel between the earth womb, the divine, feminine, creative flow and force, is always open between the earth womb and your womb. You have abundant access to all that you need. And just drawing your awareness back up into your womb space now. Knowing now that your womb space serves only pure love. That your womb space is dedicated to the light. And that your womb space is returned to her primordial freedom. This is truly a space now from which you can create. When you're ready, but only when you're ready, I'd like you to imagine a place in nature place that feels just right for you to receive the right of the womb, the shamanic transmission and blessing, where you will receive the ancient womb wisdom from the lineage of women who knew and who freed themselves from pain and suffering. This place in nature might be a place that you know or a place that you can just imagine. You'll be standing barefoot, connected to the earth. Wherever it is that you choose. And I'd like you to imagine that I'm standing in front of you with love looking into your eyes, getting ready to pass on to you this empowering, loving transmission. As I do that, my eyes remain looking into your eyes and your eyes remain looking into mine. And I'm raising my hands above my head and calling in and reactivating the wisdom, the ancient womb wisdom, by saying, 
The womb is not a place to store fear and pain. The womb is to create and to birth new life. And as I fully reactivate the wisdom, I'm now placing both of my hands over my womb in a downward facing triangle. To fully reactivate my womb space. Ready to pass on this wisdom to you. And I do this by saying, the womb is not a place to store fear and pain. The womb is to create and to birth new life. And as I physically feel this activation beneath my hands in my womb, I'm given the signal but it's time to pass this over to your womb. So my left hand remains over my womb space and my right hand is just gently placed over your womb space just in a way that is comfortable for you, that honours your own personal boundaries. To activate this transmission from my womb to yours, I say the word. The womb is not a place to store fear and pain. The womb is to create and to birth new life. And as you give yourself permission to receive this ancient womb wisdom, loving womb wisdom, see, sense or feel in some way this transmission reaching you and becoming activated and live within your own womb space. And I've been given the signal that that is complete. What I'd like you to do now to fully anchor in to fully embody this wisdom is to place both of your hands over your womb or your womb space in a downward facing triangle. And I will gently place both of my hands over both of your hands. Gazing into your eyes, I shall repeat the words. This time, you can repeat after me. The womb is not a place to store fear and pain. The womb is to create and to birth new life. And you can say, you can repeat after me, I am ready to release all fear and pain from my womb. And I am ready to create and to birth new life. See, sense or feel this deep activation and remembrance, this womb wisdom, womb codes within your womb. And I'm being given the signal that that is complete. I'm raising my hands in prayer position and bowing down to the earth at your feet. Honouring you as the goddess that you are. You are ready 
to release any remnants of fear or pain or suffering from your womb space and you are ready to create and to birth new life and of course this is not literal birthing new life is something we can do in each moment breathing new life new passion, new desire into our connections, creativity and joy into our friendships, into our projects, into our work, into our businesses, into our art, into the way that we move, dance, that you have the power to create and to attract what you desire into your life, sister. And you deserve to desire, sister. And you deserve your desires to be met by this life, sister. You are worthy and deserving. you now as you remain just fully comfortable seated or lying wherever you are to give yourself permission just to fully relax into the sacred sound transmission into the healing transmission you can receive from this transmission just what you need in order to assist you to facilitate any further releasing of pain, fear, suffering, lack from your womb and from your energy in all ways, in all forms, on all levels and through all points in time all through any relevant past incarnations all through any relevant ancestral lineages. It is your time to release and to let go through the fabric of your life.
dearest sisters, having received the womb healing sound transmission, having released and let go of what you needed to let go of, your womb space can be filled with pure light. Know that your sacred womb temple, that your body temple, serves only pure love and is now dedicated to the light. Let us close down this sacred and ceremonial space. you to the powers of the east, the sun, the moon, the light, the fire and the powers of illumination. And thank you to the spirit of the condor. Thank you to the powers of the south, the powers of the waters and the powers of the plants, powers of intuition and faith and trust. Thank you to the spirit of the serpent. Thank you to the powers of the west. The powers of the feminine, of the goddess and of the womb. And thank you to the spirit of the jaguar. Thank you to the powers of the north. The powers of the air. The powers of the animals. The powers of our elders and our ancestors. Special thanks to our ancestors. Our healing is their healing and their healing is our healing. Thank you to the powers of discernment and clarity of mind and wisdom. And thank you to the beautiful spirit of the hummingbird. Closing down this ceremonial space to your own unique spirit teams and guides and allies now with deepest thanks and gratitude for all of those energies and beings of 100% pure light that have assisted with your deepest and most perfect healing your most powerful and your most nurturing transformation your most tangible return to womb sovereignty for your highest good and for the greatest good of all. Now breathing once more deeply into your heart. Connecting with all of the love in your heart. Sending this energy down once more into your womb space. This beautiful, pristine, pure, sacred womb temple space which serves only pure love and is filled with light. Once more, just connecting down to Mother Earth, to the crystal core, to the divine, feminine, true womb grid of the Earth, to your primordial freedom, bringing this energy up through your roots into your womb and up into your heart. sending that energy upwards into the celestial realms, Father Universe, cosmic womb of all creation. Giving thanks for this pure divine light journeys through this ceremony which were simply blessed with light. Drawing this down through your upper chakras and in and through your heart. deepest thanks and gratitude to Mother Earth, to Father Universe, to the masculine and feminine aspects within yourself, which have now been balanced and harmonized within. And when you're ready, but only when you're ready, taking your time, You'll know when the right time is to just flutter open your eyes. To 
to return fully to the here, to the now, to this space, wherever you are. Deepest thanks to you, sister, for investing your time and energy in this beautiful global healing. So much love, many blessings. <laughs>